Billy, what were you thinking with 10 to go? You're down a man and you're trailing. What were your thoughts? Um, I, I probably had to think back to the message before the game. Um, you know, we needed to play like Queenslanders for Queenslanders and uh, our trade of Queenslanders never give up. So I probably had to li listen to my own advice a little bit. And um, it was a huge effort you know, to go down to 12 men in that last 10 minute period and be behind on the scoreboard. I don't like to focus on the scoreboard too much, but when there's 10 minutes to go in the game, you probably need to a little bit. And uh, we went after the game and, you know, some players made some big plays. Um, but the whole team had to get into position, you know, so that was a tough, tough game out there. We, did, we didn't play overly smart at times. Um, I won't use the word that I probably used in the coach's box, but, uh, yeah, not overly smart at times. But uh, I tell you what, there, there is a lot of guts and determination and courage in this footy team. And... You know, we lose both our back rowers in the first half. Um, both our centres finish on the wing. Ben Hunt and Dave Fafita are our centre pairings to finish the game, and um, we lose Tom Flegler and go down to 12 men. You know, at the, at the death. That, you know, like, if you rattle off those stats against anyone, and let alone you know the quality that we played tonight, um, you know, this is a an almighty win. And, and Queensland, or well, the people of Queensland, will be very proud of their team. The young guys you went with, Hamaso, Tabuai, Fado, and Reese Walsh, they really did indicate their selection in spades. I mean, what did you make of their performances? Yeah, yeah. Well, Hamaso, Dave, Fafita, and Tom Flegler had all played for Queensland. Um, you know, but it's been a while since they've been in the Queensland jersey, but they've really earned their opportunity to play for Queensland again. And I, I thought they were great. Um, you know, the habits in their game that they've built especially this year, have transpired into their performance at Origin. Um, like I said, they were fantastic to, tonight. Um, and, and the young lad at fullback, like he's, he's got so much substance to his game outside of the highlights. And you know, we all love watching Reese Walsh uh, pull the trigger on a pass or you know, blistering speed or his involvement in the game. But... But he's building a foundation to his game that's going to hold him in good stead for a long period of time. And, and that's what I've seen. That's what I've liked. And that's why he's here. He's, um, he's a quality player. He's a, he's a good young man. Um, he's got a big future ahead of him. The way Hammer played, does that vindicate the decision to not have Dane Gagai here? They're really tough decisions to make. And I don't make them lightly. Um, but I make them for the right reasons. This is not a tough position to be in. I, I, I've played footy with Dane. I've, I've got a great relationship with Gags, and um, I make sure that I make that phone call as soon as that decision's made too. Um, it, they're not easy decisions to make, but they're made for the right reasons, and that's the position I'm in. Um, um, it didn't surprise me how Hammond played tonight. Like, that was pretty key in the first half, the two try saving tackles. Yeah, they make the difference, don't they? Um, you know, moments like that, you know, make the difference. They they hold you in the contest and um, and you, you've got to celebrate them. So um, there were some big plays made at the end of the game, but you keep yourself in the contest at the start of the game by making those plays. You know, what is it about that that jersey, like? Like time and time again, when Queensland are in those positions, and like no team should really win from that position, but Queensland always seem to find a way to to win. Like, what is it about the belief that? Yeah, we don't we don't always win them. We don't always win them, um, but I think we we always put ourselves in a position because I don't know that that that's a trait of a Queenslander. I like like I'm I'm sure New South Wales people will be the same, but you know Queenslanders go through drought, they go through cyclones. Um, they go through floods, you know, they go through a lot of adversity and w we try and represent our people in that way as well and, and I, I think that's what makes our people so proud of this footy team and that's why this footy team is such an inspiration for our people and, and that's what we try and do. We try and replicate the traits that Queenslanders have um, and that was on show tonight. Daly, what about Ruben Cotter's um, performance tonight? Like he, he came up with some massive plays, dived on a ball, which was he scored not long after he got ahead. But what's it like playing with him? Like he, he played one game last year and got injured, unfortunately. But 
the way he's stood up today. Yeah, Ruben Cotter didn't do a single rep at right back row during the week. Um, but I tell you what, when he was there, I didn't for one second think he was going to let me down or the team down. So uh, really proud of Rubes and a well-deserved man of the match. It looks like we've got a Queensland player that's going to be there for a long time. He epitomises what it's all about. Are you proud to wear those words of toss and turner on your collar? Like, you know, you got those words, do you? Do your duty for Queensland. Queensland expect you to. How big was that tonight? When, when you're under f fatigue and looked like you could go either way. Yeah, I feel like those words are, have been established, and they're something that we're proud of. We're proud to be Queenslanders, and it's not a burden and it's not a pressure to play for Queensland, uh, but it is a privilege and it is an honour. So every time we go out there, like Bill said, we want to make our state proud, and I felt like the performance tonight did that. What about when you're two down, ten to go? Like, were you starting to think we might be gone here, or how do you not think that? What are you thinking? I don't know. Maybe we're crazy, but you just don't think like that. <laughs> you just know, and we spoke about it behind the trial, and we just need an opportunity. And if we went back to our game model, we knew that our our game model and our game was going to produce something at some stage. So. I'm not saying I predicted Lindsay Collins to jump and catch a bomb, but I knew at some point we've got players in our team that if we all did our job, someone's going to come up with something. And those moments late, um, those boys should be really proud of that. Have you ever seen Lindsay do that? He actually tried to do it last week against the, the Dragons in defence. Um, so, yeah, I have. <laughs> I, I, I tell you, a big play is Cameron Munster being in the position. Yeah, and no one thought Lindsay was was going to leap over James Tedesco, take the ball, and then offload it to a support runner on the inside. But you know the position that that Munster put himself in, they're they're, they're big plays, and he's got that in his game. Um, you know he threw that pass to Hammerso as well. Uh, he's a he's a heck of an Origin player, um, and Queensland had to do it without him in Game Three last year, and Tommy did and did a fantastic job. He was their 18th man tonight, but. He's, uh, he's a special player. Daniel, you've had some big wins for Queensland. Where does winning under those circumstances tonight rate for, for you as captain of the side? Yeah, it's a special one. Definitely is a special one. Um, we'll enjoy it tonight, but we also understand that it's only game one, so we won't get too ahead of ourselves just yet. Just on Lindsay, was he just too keen? Like that 14th play, I think, that he took the run, the 14th play of penalty. Yeah, no, yeah, there's a couple of seconds that we had 14 players. Um, I thought Tom Gilbert got taken off on the other side. His shoulder popped out, um, so he was in a pretty bad way. So, um, you know, we made that call to, to get Lindsay off, thinking that Tom Gilbert was off the field on the other side. What's Selwyn Cobbo's injury? Billy, do you expect him to be fit for the next one? Um, he's got an issue with his hip, so not exactly sure at the moment. He's got a bit of ice on it at the moment, so um, medical staff will, will assess all our players and. Uh, report back to their clubs. So, um, yeah. Apart from that, I, I don't think uh, Tom Tom Gilbert. He's got that shoulder issue. Um, Dave came back on the field. Um, outside of that, I think we're okay. Billy, how do you sort of keep a keep a lid? You've got a really good opportunity to win the series at Suncorp now. It'll be a big occasion. How do you keep a lid on things and get some of these young players in the right zone going into that game? I said at the start we didn't really play smart at all, and. Tonight's not the night to focus on that, but um, I'm sure there will be a time over the next little period to focus on that, and that'll be something that we um, we take into our preparation for game two. So, um, yeah, I'll leave it at that. So there's a lot, a lot of upside, do you think? There's still a lot more in this team than oh, actual yeah. footy-wise? Oh, yeah. The, the, the fabric of the team is, is, is great. The foundation of our yeah. team is fantastic. Um, we can play so much better than what we played tonight. What do you think of the Sydney build, particularly at in Origin? <clears throat> oh, I, I actually didn't get a really close look at the replay, um, but they don't usually get those ones wrong. Do you think, given that Flegler got that bin, that maybe in that first opening few minutes, Adokar could have been bin for his slam on Reese Walsh's face? Doesn't matter because you won. <laughs> no, I, I wasn't thinking like that. No, I, 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 when that happened, I, I didn't think that he should went to the bin. So I, uh, that's the first time I've actually thought of that situation. But yeah, no. Um, 
Just one, sorry, DCE, just on race, you spoke so highly of him, Billy. When you were playing out there with race, is it too early to suggest that he has anything similar to your coach? Careful. <laughs> <laughs> nah, look, that's his first game. It's a, it's, a, it's a great benchmark for him as a player, but like Bill said, and, and he's a better judge than I am, that there's some foundations in his game that's going to set him up for a long time. So he was great tonight. He wanted to be in the game when he wasn't, and when he was in the game, he was really good. So I'm really proud of Reese and looking forward to building a combination with him moving forward. Congrats on 25, by the way. Thank you. Thanks, guys. Cheers. Thanks, guys.